The stream is live. Hello and welcome to Divinely Empowered with Quadrina. Good evening. Oh, sorry, but I'm totally there. Quadrina edition. <laughs> so um, Quadrina has very kindly agreed to interview me and ask me some lovely questions. And this is Quadrina from Ashtar Lessons. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for for having me here. I'm. It is a very special evening, and I'm very happy I'm here with you. Uh, I think um, there will be a lot of people who, um, there were actually a lot of people who wrote me um, mm. a lot of things. They wanted to meet you. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to say good evening and welcome, everybody. So uh, this evening, my special and my amazing teacher. Oh. We lost Kadrina. Hang on a second. What happened? We lost you there. Hang on a second. I think we might have some interesting technical things. Okay, you're back on. <laughs> okay. So this evening, we're going to talk about a lot of wonderful things. And my beautiful and amazing teacher is here finally. And thank you for coming, Antonia. And um, let's start. I think we, we can start. And I have to ask you, there are a lot, uh, there, are, there were a few questions uh, my clients and my followers put me, and one of them was, um, tell us what Antonia is doing, that she is looking so young. <laughs> and another one, you're going to laugh now, I'm sure, is tell us if Antonia has the, um, the same energy when she's uh, in courses with you and when she's speaking with you so out of the camera <laughs> so you're gonna answer today to everybody what are you doing that uh, that you're looking so young and how what how do you do to have so much energy what are you doing to to, to have so much energy okay i can answer that before we get there we have some people live so let's just say some hellos and then we'll go on to that we have a number of people can you see them there's laura iona mirella meda victoria daniela lilian Louis, liluana these are these are romanian names i can't pronounce some of them yes Yes, yes. Oh, Welcome, nice. everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, okay. You're going into the big stuff immediately. Okay, right. I developed something called energetic cellular regeneration. Basically, I... <laughs> I was not expecting to develop this particular healing modality, but I'm quite good on my feet. When there's a situation that happens, an emergency situation, I'm quite good at problem solving. So my dear friend Lisa had a fight with a blender. She had one, she was making soup. And you know, the soup blenders, the handheld blenders that just you make the soup. She ended up, unfortunately, sticking her finger in it. And she mangled two of her fingers and she ended up with, I think it was six stitches. One finger was particularly bad, but she, um, yeah, she made a quite a big hole in her finger. So she went to the doctor and uh, she had it obviously dressed and, and stitched. And then every day they were do, doing, um, they, they, were, uh, they were having to redress it every day. And then it was every other day. And then it went down to once a week after about six weeks or so. And it wasn't getting very much better. 
And they said to her, they were very worried and it was necrotic. So necrosis is something that happens when you have cell death. This happens when you have leprosy or gangrene or frostbite. It's a very, very serious situation. It's when your flesh starts rotting and goes black. Now, she was obviously and understandably pretty upset about this. And in the olden days, what they would have done is uh, amputated the finger potentially. So what they were suggesting to her was a skin graft. Now, a skin graft, what they do is they scrape your finger. They just scrape your finger and then they take a place of skin from somewhere else in your body and replace it with that. So that was what was on the table for her. And I was filming a video with her and they asked me, uh, and, she, and she mentioned it to me, at which point I went, oh, that's not a good sign. Like, is there anything we can do about this? So um, I'd, at the same time, I've been watching some um, some videos from some scientists, Dr. E uh, Dr. Becker and Dr. Now that slipped out my name, Dr. Becker and Dr. Warburg. There we go. Just slipped out my mind for just a second. And they were um, scientists in the 70s who were discovering and looking into various different modalities of healing. What they were doing was looking into the voltage of cells, the cellular voltage. And they realized um, that if you had 70 to 90 millivolts, you were in very good health. 30 to 50 millivolts, you were in poor health. And around 20 millivolts, you were in very, very poor health. Maybe you were dying or you had some awful disease. And the other one was going, uh, looking into, he was an orthopedic surgeon who ended up working for a veterinary college and started thinking about salamanders. So salamanders, they, if you cut the leg or the arm or the tail or half an eyeball off a salamander, it regenerates. How does that work? What is that? So what he did was he decided to cut the leg off a salamander and see what would happen. And there was an energy field around where the leg was. And there was a he managed to monitor this with machines. And there was a pulsing followed by a, a surge of energy followed by a pulsing. And the salamander's leg grew back. And he thought, I wonder if I can mimic this with a frog. And set up the electrical current around a frog, cut off his leg, set up the electrical current. And to his surprise, the frog's leg grew back. It's just a surge of energy followed by a current. So I had all this mulling over my mind and Lisa had this situation with her finger and I thought if I can raise the energetic cellular voltage of her finger, I might be able to regenerate her finger. So I have this harebrained wild idea that I just sort of come up with on the spot because I just had this in, my, in the forefront of my mind. And I ended up doing that. I ended up creating this new energy and raising the voltage of her finger. And amazingly and beautifully, um, it started to do something and it felt like the energy was running. I started working on my face at the same time. We'll get back to that. And, um, and a week later when she went to the doctor and they were sort of really ready to do the skin grafts, they were just going to give it a minute. But when it starts rotting, there's no way back from it. It just starts spreading. You can have really, really, you can lose limbs from it. It's very serious. Um, and when it goes necrotic, there is there is no turning back from necrosis, not at all. I've spoken to a number of surgeons about this since. Um, and basically, it was no longer black. It was no longer necrotic, which is a complete impossibility me medically. Um, and it started to repair. And it's been just over a year now. And it's and it's rebuilding. She got her feeling back in, in her finger. So it was very hollow. So it started to sort of fill out from the inside. And then she got the feeling back in her finger about after six months or so. And it's just continuing to regenerate. And she's just got a small scar now. So that was really exciting. And then I did my I did myself because I thought, well, if I can do her finger, I'll do my face. Because I thought, well, why not? Because who doesn't potentially want to look younger? So I did my face and my face has significantly reverse aged or de-aged in the over the last year and every so often I wake up and I go oh my wrinkles are less or my 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 face is lifting it's like I'm having a facelift I was a bit more jowly before I was a bit more hangy here but yeah it's um it's quite a significant improvement and then my energy levels are through the roof I've got the energy I had in my 20s so yeah that's what happened <laughs> So that's why this is the secret, the energetic cellular regeneration. This is the secret. But mm. tell me something. Um, if you you have a, a, a client, um, a woman, let's say 46, 47 years old, and she is at the end of her, of her period, 
uh, if you are doing uh, cellular regeneration or herb, what will happen to her period? Well, we've had one person which we worked on with this, who's called Karen, who I've known since I was, oh my goodness, 17 or 18. And she's a very energetic person. She's a Pilates instructor, but she's the sort of person who gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She does her meditation. She'll go and do uh, go for a run and then do some emails and things before starting work. So she's a very, you know, busy, energetic person, mother of two. And she, and she, I, as I said, I've known her forever. And um, she just didn't have any energy anymore. And she was always very, very proactive. But she just, she ran out of energy and there were things that were weighing her down. She wanted to get divorced and she she just couldn't get to doing the paperwork from it because it was just too stressful and too much for her to be dealing with. So she just was sort of just not doing it. And it was about a year that she just, he'd moved down. She just hadn't got, got on with doing it because it was just too overwhelming. And then she stopped doing her runs. She was, you know, just crawling out of bed, at, at, you know, just, just before her clients. She was really, really struggling for around a year, which is very common for people in perimenopause. So what happened to her was really interesting. So she missed three cycles. So you only you get into menopause when you've missed one year's worth of cycles. So she's in something called perimenopause, which is only three cycles missed. But she's also, you know, regular as clockwork normally. And she'd had for the for a year just very limited energy, like brain fog and just lackluster. So anyway, I worked on her. Uh, because she came over to visit me because she's my friend and um, I was running around like a puppy and bouncing around full of beans and she <laughs> feel like now really um, and then she was quite tired and I'd never seen her I've never just never seen her tired and she was like oh my goodness and she was like get me some coffee and I was like who are you you're not normally like a, you know I've been on holiday with her I, I know her well and I've never seen her sort of reach for coffee even when we've had like crazy nights out she never really reached for coffee um, so she was just really, really tired. And I said, oh, I better, um, so, and I'd arranged this crazy day. I, we started with 10 AM, uh, ax throwing and then we had a lunch and then we had like a, a beach thing. And then we had a party and a barbecue and people coming over and many different activities. She said, how am I going to get through this day? I'm so tired. And I realized that there was, I was just going to be annoying. I was too energetic. And when you're tired and around someone very energetic, it's it's quite tiring and quite annoying. So I thought, I'm just going to be super annoying if I'm too bouncy. So I thought, I, at lunch, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to work on her and another one of uh, my friends and, and practitioners spring. And I worked on them at lunch. And then her energy levels, Karen had a really immediate, amazing effect. And it started to zzz, like zoom up her energy. And um, and by that night, she had loads of energy. She slept really well, woke up, had a four hour drive home and just couldn't stop talking the entire way. It was so full of beans. And about two weeks after that, she got her cycle back. And that was, I think, April last year. And she's been on the 28 day cycle since then. So her her perimenopause has been reversed. Wow. So the, um, uh, yes, the, the, um, the cycle is continuing. Yeah. It, it doesn't stop. And uh, women are able to feel young, to feel, uh, to have a lot of energy and um, to, to feel like they were 20 years. We ago. are. Yeah, I do. I mean, the thing is, it's, some people who are in very good health have this amazing, amazing. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. It's okay. It's happening. I'm sorry. I put it on Do Not Disturb and I just got a call. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I put it on do not disturb, how strange. Um, yeah, so if people are in really good health, then what happens is um, then they get these, these sorts of results. If people are in less good health, then you have to imagine that it's about raising the voltage of the cells and it goes to where it's most needed. So if you have a very, uh, like a, a heart that's not working very well, a liver, lungs, whatever it is that is not working very well, then... Um, it goes to work on there first. So the least important part really is like your your skin and your, your the, the physical aging on your face. That's a very low 
importance thing. I know we're, it's something that we'd all like, but actually uh, in comparison to your proper health, it's actually um, the importance is fairly low. So that one is, it hasn't happened. It is is it takes longer to get there, but it's it seems like it's continuing to go up. And my life force now, or my voltage, looks like it did when I was in my early twenties. So it hasn't really. Oh, I've got sneezes now. <laughs> um, it hasn't fully manifested in my body. I don't think because I don't think my face looks like I'm early twenties. But um, it feels like it's starting to fill up, and I think I may get back to I don't know mid to early twenties looking. I don't know. It's I'm forty. Three, 43. Yeah. So it's pretty good at the moment. And, and, um, and I'm looking at people, I've got friends who are 30, late twenties, 30. And I think I'm somewhere, somewhere around there compared. And actually I see some of my friends in their late twenties and thirties who've got quite a few more lines than me. I think there's a, like, I look, I feel older just because of my life experience or something. I feel like I feel like I I, I I sort of seem older in a way. However, I'm looking at their lines. I'm I'm always looking at people's lines. Go, oh, how old do I look? And comparing myself. So I don't know. Somewhere between late twenties and early thirties, I think probably. <laughs> yes, it is. It is a great method. Now I can tell because uh, you did it also on us. And I was yes. Also How are you feeling from it? Great. I'm feeling great. Yes. And to, to be honest, everybody is asking me if I did Botox or something. <laughs> and oh, really? I told them that you are my Botox. <laughs> but you yes. want it right there. <laughs> and that's why I'm looking younger because of you. And uh, but for me, what is it is uh, really amazing. It's the fact that um, uh, I was all the time exhausted. Yeah. And now I am able to do a lot of uh, clients and a lot of things. And I think I'm um, I'm I think life has has improved in a good way um life it's it's more beautiful it's better it's um you have energy you don't have uh, pains in your body um you are sleeping better um i have lost weight i don't um uh feel um i don't need to to eat so much as i as i was um i was i was used to eat so uh, a lot of good things happened since you did uh, you did this year to to me i think it's great and um also i think it is amazing that we we really don't know what will be in the future so going. i keep noticing it i did a couple of days ago and i was like oh those little lines because basically i had this line used to go downwards and now it doesn't. It was quite. It was quite a difference. And I do notice every few days. I'm like, I want to get rid of that line entirely. It's not gone entirely, but it it was a lot deeper and had a downward thing before. So that's quite noticeable. My lips feel. Uh, my lips are a lot bigger. I noticed that. And the whole. One of my friends are noticing that the lifting of my face because that. I suppose they have facelifts, don't they? So they want to pull up your face like this. That's my shape of my face has changed. It was a bit more moon shaped. But the, yeah, my energy levels are through the roof. Like I, I'm able to go back to the gym and train loads. And I I wasn't, I do a lot of energy work. So that's pretty exhausting. So I have a lot of load on my system more than normal humans do. So being able to go to the gym quite easily and get up early and, and go and train is something which is, you know, hasn't really happened to me for a, a long, long time just because I'm doing all this energy work. Yes, I know you have a lot of energy. <laughs> In front of the camera and out of the camera, you have a lot of energy. I'm full of energy. I have to be. If I didn't have an, I don't know. I always find that really funny. It's I, I for teachers and stuff. If that if an energy teacher doesn't have a lot of energy and is sick, they're not very good at their job. This is what I say. And there are a number of teachers who are sick. They're not very good at their job. Why are you following somebody who is um, who is actually sick? If if their work if their stuff works, they wouldn't be sick. It's you know they 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 are counter 
each other, they're against each other. You have to be well and full of energy if you are selling energy. Yes, yes, you're right. And I can tell you that uh, we were all very, we had, uh, people don't know, but we had level 14 a few days ago. And because of the solar flares, there were a lot of solar flares and Schumann resonance was, was different. And we were all- It always is, every time we teach, every single time we teach, We'd had this conversation about the Schumann's resonance. And there was one where I was doing level seven where I make people into angels and then the Schumann resonance looks like these huge angel wings. Wow. Mm. Every single time that I teach, the Schumann resonance goes off, off the chart. We've been monitoring this for about at least four years. Every single time we look at it. And it's, so it's like, um, I don't know, it's cause and effect. Either we've chosen a very good time to be doing these courses every single time or we're affecting the Schumann resonance. I don't know which one it is, but certainly the coincidence, it's not coincidence. It's one of the other, one or the other. Hmm. When we are together, we are very powerful. We, um, we did, uh, um, all of us, I think we did uh, most of our inner work and it is very important you can do your uh, you can have uh, powers without um, uh, solving your traumas and you are the best teacher in the world for That's for so solving sweet. the tra traumas to delete the, you you have you have helped us a lot all of us to delete our traumas yeah and that's yeah. why we uh, we live now a different life it makes the world a different place when you don't have traumas. Yes. Yes. You, you stop attracting not... horrible situations. That's the, the important thing. People don't realize about the dark side of the law of attraction. So um, basically, the law of attraction is about what you focus on, you invite in. But if you've got these latent traumas from situations that happened to you in the past or... Um, <clears throat> Uh, or even just happened around you in the past, then it's going to be in your energy field and you're going to be attracting it. For example, if there was infidelity in your house growing up, maybe one of your parents cheated on the other one. If that's in your energetic field because that happened as you were growing up and you haven't cleared it, you're going to be att attracting partners who cheat on you because it's in your field and it looks to the universe like you're ordering it. So whatever is in your field, whatever you've been thinking about, even consciously or subconsciously, is what you're actually ordering from the universe. So when you clear all your traumas, you stop ordering crappy situations. And that's really, really big. You stop bringing in these betrayal and heartbreaks and all these uh, poverty and goodness knows whatever people might have had in their past. You stop ordering it from the universe, which means you can live a lot more fluid, happy, easy breezy life. Yes, yes, it's true. And the big difference why you are so special, in my opinion, and I think in everybody's opinion, is the fact that in two, three minutes ma maximum, you are able to delete the trauma. So uh, we are without trauma and uh, we are not, um, the, our, our life is changing. It's, it is changing completely because you, first of all, you are not the, um, the person you used to be. You, you you start to trust yourself you start to to see the good part of the life and this is amazing and you don't need as a client so much work to recognize your traumas to work on meditation um everybody who's working with you or with us your practitioner it is enough to to um, to talk with us, and in the few minutes, in a few minutes, we are able to solve their problems. And I think this is uh, this is huge. This oh is well, huge. now we're getting onto diseases, though. Yeah, I mean, it is huge, and I've been doing I've been doing traumas for a long time, but now the new stuff I'm very excited about. You want to tell us? <laughs> Yes. So this is an exclusive, world exclusive, everybody. I have not discussed this before. 
I discovered on Saturday <laughs> something quite exciting, which I was teaching in my class on Sunday. It is always last minute. It's everything is on this like mission critical need to know basis. It feels like I need to like learn it very, very last minute. Um, so that it's safe for my practitioners because stuff we're doing is very, very cutting edge. So the new stuff is hardware versus software in disease. So I didn't realize that there was hardware and software in disease. I'm not sure anyone has realized it. But I started thinking about faith healers. Now, faith healers, if people are aware, are um, there are many different types of faith healers. The, the Karma ones are, um, you know, just normal, lovely people who can do miraculous things. Like my Zumba teacher was telling me about her grandfather and she had warts on her hand for a year and she took, took loads of ointments and pills and they tried to burn them off and various different things. And unfortunately, it didn't do anything. It didn't work. So for a year, she still had these warts on her hand until she went to see her grandfather who was a faith healer. And he just rubbed her hand and said to her, it's gone. And by the morning, it was gone. But what is gone? What has gone? So anyway, this chap was able to work on lots of cows and do lots of interesting things. And there were cows who had problems with their udders. They were cracked udders and they tried and tried and tried for years to teach them, to treat them, sorry, with the vets and all medications. Didn't work. And they, he worked them. It was gone in a few days. And it was gone. And I said to her, what was gone? What did they actually remove? And I was thinking about what did they remove? And then I started thinking about the faith healers that they have in America, in the big, big churches who are a lot more dramatic. And they sort of, you know, they, they go, by the power of God. And they sort of remove something from people. What is it that they're removing? And there are many people, some of them are fake, I, I admit. I know some of them are fake. And some of them, it works and then it, it unravels over the course of a few days. But there are people who are walking who were in wheelchairs, who were able to walk, but then sometimes they end up back in the wheelchairs. But there, there is this thing about faith healers, and I was wondering what that is, because what we've been doing is working on the emotions of diseases. Like, we, we have a textbook, it's right here by my side, called Metaphysical Anatomy by Yvette Rose. It's very dog-eared, as you can see, because I use it all the time. And that tells you the emotions behind diseases. So, I've now realized there's something called hardware and something called software. So if you have a problem with your phone, it can either be a software or a hardware or issue. Now, the software is the programming of the phone and the hardware is the physical phone. So if you ever, ever had issues and you're like, you're trying to work out whether it's a hardware or a software issue. So which one is it? So I've only been working on the software before, which is the emotions. It's the only the emotions that I've been working on and dissolving all the emotions. And actually, when you dissolve the emotions and sometimes things can change, um, then, then, then diseases often unravel. And I've got a really good hit rate of, of deleting diseases. But there are a few which are sticky and are difficult and they look like they're gone and then they revert. And it looks like what that is, is a hard wiring. Or, or, or the hardware, either way you want to say it. And I think that if you become very, very entrenched in a way of thinking, it, the software can become hardware. I think it can densify and become solid. So what it is, is that the, um, the hardware, I think, is nefarious magic or nefarious technology and a combination therein. And I think that's what these people are getting rid of. They're banishing something from people, nefarious magic or, or um, nefarious technology. So now I've just started working on that. And I just worked on a sticky case even today. And it was really interesting. She has a number of issues and a poor, a poorly child and a various different things. And she came to see me um, a week ago. And unfortunately, things didn't move. I thought that she would have a, a bigger result than she did sort of instantaneously for her backache and for her leg ache. And today I worked on her again and her pain went down to zero in both of them in the session. And before it hadn't moved too much. We did a lot. I think I we, we did a lot last week. So I think that there was also um, an issue of just overloading her system to some extent because we were trying to get as much done as possible. But now because I worked on the hardware as well as the software, it seemed to shift when it hadn't before.
So that's really interesting. And I'm thinking if you can do the hardware and the software, this might actually help people with uh, more established diseases or solid based diseases, uh, like uh, diseases which are have got lumps in them and, you know, hard bits in general. I'm quite good at things which are soft, liquid based diseases like cysts and such. But hard diseases are harder to do. <laughs> but this looks like we're going to we just have to play with it and see where it is. But it does seem like if you work on the hardware, it dissipates the mechanism, of the disease much more easily. It is amazing what we did in level um, 14. And um, people have to to come and uh, if they want, they can find out uh, by um, uh, letting us to to solve their health problems with this new level, which is amazing. It is really amazing because we are deleting a lot of things which are in the back of the disease. There is more. There is more. This is what Antonia wants to say, actually, that in the back of the disease, there are more things that we are, uh, we are dissolving. And um, I think it was amazing. <laughs> and every level is more powerful than the other. <laughs> oh, it's so funny though, the levels, because I didn't, I literally got the, the, the information for this level the day before I was teaching it. And I, and I was thinking, I'd really like to know this. I'd really like to write it. It's, I mean, it's, it's beautiful because we've got this merry band of wizards who are on the top level who really are just like, whatever you bring, it's going to be amazing. No, they, no one really cares. No, everyone's just stopped asking me what's going to be in it because I say, I don't know. But I always um, bring something amazing. And we never know what it's quite going to be, but it always comes out as something really fun and really groundbreaking every single time. Yes, we had a small idea, and during the course, we realized how big it is. And <laughs> actually, you didn't even eat. I can't. I may may I tell this, Antonia. I didn't even eat because you 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 prepare all the notes. Yeah, the, all the ideas were coming uh, during the the the, the course. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get a lunch break. I just get. I just kept on going. Yeah, yeah. I have to. It just needs doing. I want to be able to, and then the, then the notes got deleted. I don't. I, I lost the notes four times. It was some sabotage. I had to rewrite them four times. That was fun. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I refine them. They are so powerful and important, and I think that's uh, that's why. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I uh, I just want somebody's uh, is asking me in Romanian. Uh, if they need a special preparation for the meditation uh, for the chakras. And if you allow me, I, um, I would tell in Romanian a few yeah. words that all, you, all uh, you need is their acceptance. They have mm -hmm. to accept to, uh, to let you work on their, uh, on their chakras. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that in a bit, though. Did you answer the question from Liliane as well? There's quite a long question in Romanian. Did you see that one? You might have to scroll up to see it. No, just a moment. Liliana. Yes. Yes, this, is the, uh, this was the question. How are we going to, what we have to do during the meditation? meditation um, uh, and uh, I'm going to tell them in Romanian if you allow me. Yeah, we'll do that when we so, get there. What about Petro? There's a, question, there's a question from, there's a question from okay. Petro as well and I've got a couple of questions here as well to answer. Do you Just see that one? Moment. Uh, no, it is I'm uh, sending you a hug and I'm <laughs> very grateful for being together with us yes okay so i think this is more for ashtar than me i have a question saying about what's going on in the sky with the lights and the star family or energies what's why is there so many lights in the sky do you know why there are so many lights in the sky what would you say if you ask me and you know me there are a lot of uh, spaceships and they are uh, 
this is what I feel and what I know, but maybe you know more. You're our teacher. No, I don't know. I, the thing is, I know about, I, I've got a very niche thing I'm very good at, but I, I, I don't necessarily know everything or things about that sort of stuff. You're, you know, you speak to Ashtar all the time. You're better at the space stuff. <laughs> Yes, yes, I speak with Dashtar uh, every, um, every very day. often, very often, um, and uh, he's helping us a lot since you since you appeared in my life. <laughs> so we have another question about karma and about it. Is it karma getting released? So. I think we're going to have to let go of karma at some point. I know that doing the healing work that we do does release the karma. Um, but I like for normal people, what's going to happen? I do think it's it's just going to start lifting from people because I just I think that it's a bit of an experiment which hasn't worked out very well. Because if people don't know why things are happening to them and what's going on and they don't have any resilience to it, I think that it's kind of a bit of a failed experiment and then people get stuck and it gets worse and worse. So I do think as we move into the golden age that people are going to, I think people are too overloaded really to deal with their karma to them. Because I think that the way you deal with karma is either with magic and deleting the trauma or you have to... Um, act with grace and dignity in the face of adversity. So when something horrible happens, if you act with grace and dignity, instead of getting very upset about it, if you're very calm and very centered and very like stoic about it, then I think that that sort of shows the universe that you've learned the lesson and then you can move forward. But I think most people are too overloaded to be stoic. I don't think they can be calm in the face of adversity. So I think that it's a bit of a, I think the experiment hasn't really worked for karma. So, and if people don't know what they've done before, they don't really understand the situation if they're not spiritually um, orientated. So I, I do, either, either people are just, I think it's just going to get easier. I just think things are just going to get softer and karma will start to be lifted from people so that then they can be less overloaded and then start ha having a bit more of a blank slate with it or a, like an open place to start from. What do you think is going to happen with karma? In my opinion, if, uh, if we can, uh, we are able to, to get rid of our traumas, we are not attracting any more things. I know, but they have to do the course for that. I mean, I'm talking about normal people. <laughs> yes, do the courses. You you can delete your karma. That's the best way to do it. But, but for people who don't do the courses, what do they do? <laughs> they, come, they come to us and we're going to help them to delete their karmas. <laughs> they have two options. They can take your courses or they come to, to, to your practitioners and delete. Yeah, delete but I, not everyone's going to want to do that. And I think they're going to suffer. I do think it's going to get less. I do think as we, as we move further and further into the golden age, I do think they're going to like, they're just going to let the, let the steam out somewhat. Just let the pressure down. So people will then be able to, to deal with their situations more calmly. They'll have more space, more emotional space to be able to deal with things. I hope so anyway. Yes. So, um, it's coming. A lot of light is coming on the earth. And I think this can uh, can be very helpful yeah. for all of us. We've got a question from Anna. Does trauma erasure go back generations? It can do. You can, uh, I mean, the ancestral stuff. So if you look at the, you know, the karmic stuff, the ancestral stuff, it, it does just delete it. So it's gone. So I don't necessarily focus on that individually because it's just, it doesn't exist anymore. So you don't really have to start thinking about that sort of stuff too much. So yes, it kind of does. Tim is saying when you're constantly prodded by a stick, all we want to do is for it to stop. Do my courses, Tim, and it will stop. Uh, Mona, hi Antonio, what piece of advice have you got for improving physical health during the very challenging period? I mean, I know what you should do. Do my subscription service. Great segue. And it's on the bottom of the screen as well. I've just started up a new subscription service and it is £55 a month, um, which is pretty good value really, because what it is, is four videos a month 
um, when you and doing various different healings. So I'm doing one on Friday, which is a space clearing one because people's houses have just they're loaded with different traumas and arguments and unhappiness and it just gets stuck in people's houses and they might use something like sage which i have on my desk sage is great this is better you know i sometimes do saging i tend to just do it energetically to be honest but clearing your house and your um your, maybe your car and your work there are three places that we're going to be doing for each person and clearing any stagnated horrible energy from from these, um, from where you spend the most time, for any time you've been sad or upset, because it just stays in the fabric of the the buildings. You know, people have walked into rooms after arguments and felt that you can cut the air with a knife. You can feel it, and if you don't clear it, it just uh, it just layers up and just gets stuck there. So things need clearing like that. Karen is doing, who's one of my, we mentioned her before with the menopause, perimenopause. She is doing a sound bath with Tibetan sound bowls on Saturday morning. There's um, there are another couple this month as well. I like doing a wild one, which is uh, you guys choose what happens. So I just, I, the only thing off the table is ECR and I create all sorts of different things. The last one that I created was like um, a, a tractor beam, which makes you more connected to source. I'm doing one for anxiety this month as well, deleting anxiety. Um, and there's all there's a big repertoire of a library of videos as well from the previous ones that we've done. There's at least 10 or 15 or something on there already. So you can access that all for 55 pounds a month and there will be four a month. So, yes, if you want to be working on your energies and to be helping you during this this period when it's difficult there's trauma healings anxiety various different things if you start following that sort of my um my subscription service and going through all the videos and working through your stuff that will definitely help you so that's my advice for that there you go good segue <laughs> yeah, that's great because out of the the, the bad energy uh, there are portals and people don't know that we have inside us portals and in our houses port us. Yes. And you and your practitioner are able to close these portals. And in this way, the, um, um, the entities are not able to come and to attack the house yes. or, the, yeah. or the person. Yeah. So it's yeah. very important to, to do this, this clearing and closing these portals. And it's good now we have you in a, in a smaller price. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I just want to make it accessible. And if people are doing it in group, and the thing is they've got the access to the library of the videos. And also I've got amazing practitioners as well. There, you know, we've got around 30 practitioners, or exactly 30 practitioners, who are on their, their top level. And they've got a wealth of knowledge and wisdom and abilities, which are different to mine. And so I'm getting all of them to be working on, on different things. We've got Ibti coming up um, probably in May, and she's going to be talking about astral traveling. She knows all about that, which I don't know about. And, you know, everyone's doing these different things with their different abilities. So that's really, really fun to be getting different information from different people. Wonderful. Wow. So what is what are some of these questions? So Sanjay, I feel that people will be hurried up when dealing with their karma. If they work on them, they will clear faster now. People will be hurried up. Yeah, well, I hope so. Let, let's get through it because the faster, the thing is we, we are being held back by the people who haven't done any work. I do think that the, the faster we all raise our consciousness, the faster we get to the good stuff. Um, how can you be more present in your life? How do you get a normal, accurate perception of everything around us? How to be more present in our lives? Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. It's a bit presence. It's also a childlike wonderment and innocence. I think I'm I'm super present. I'm possibly too present because I can't even remember anything from the past. Um, but I think that having a childlike innocence and wonderment at the world makes you much more present. I think that really, really helps. Uh, how can your courses help us in our lives? A short description from Anna. Um, goodness, I don't even know where to start. Level one, you learn how to dissolve trauma. 
which is very, very helpful. So like, there are two different ways that we've got a subscription service where I work on you guys, all my practitioners work on you guys, and you can just go back to the videos anytime you want and go through and um, help yourselves with loads of different healing, interesting things. Or you can learn to do it yourself. So you can learn how to do um, dissolving traumas and spiritual evolution yourself. I am doing a special deal at the moment where my level one course is normally 333 pounds, but I'm doing it for 75 pounds, which is around $90. And you just use the code magic if you go to divineempowerment.com and use the code magic, and then you get it for 75 pounds, which is dirt cheap to learn how to heal your own traumas. I mean, level one is really, it's the, it, it, you learn how much you can do in a few seconds. And as Quadrina was saying, dissolving traumas, you can do, you can dissolve solo traumas, like things that happen once in level one in a couple of minutes, you can do that yourself. So if you can start to audit your life and go through and delete your traumas, then that is a really, really wonderful gift. And you can work on other people and help them too. So starting to delete traumas is really the beginning of happiness. I would say. <laughs> I have another question here. I'm going to translate it to you. Somebody is telling that there are groups uh, which they they are following a special program um, in which they are um, uh, healing with um, Archangel Michael. They are doing healings with our, they are working and doing healings with Archangel Michael. And uh, in these healings, they are able to um, dissolve implants. And if this uh, is good for karma truth, she's answering, the lady is answering you. If this work with Arch Archangel Michael, uh, it is good for trauma and karma? Yes. <laughs> why not anything which is helping you getting rid of trauma and karma is wonderful yeah if that if you're doing it like, there, there, are, there are multiple ways of doing different things yes and so, if, if so. the problems are, are still reappearing that means you need something more powerful yeah because sometimes i can i can tell tell everybody that uh, at the beginning, I was uh, I was using uh, I was working with um, ascended masters, and it was great. But uh, after I met you, and I'm uh, using your methods, even the work with the ascended masters is more powerful. I'm not using only your methods, most of them, yes, most of the time, yes. But I'm also working with the ascended masters but now i'm more powerful than i was so uh, if you see if it's not working uh try something more powerful it does more it, powerful, is, like it, it connects you more to source it, it connects you more and the thing is look awakening is a losing game you lose the part of you which are not awake so the more of this work you do, the more you take the crap out of yourself, which is stopping you from being awake. And the more the, the more pure you are with the more of this stuff out of your system, the better your connection with everything and the better everything becomes. So you can communicate much better with the ascended master. You can work much better with everything that you're doing. It becomes like it's got a lot more juice. You're, you're turbocharging anything that you were doing before. So you know and also we we've got so many techniques that like yeah my cat <laughs> um it's trying to scratch me in the sofa um <laughs> Um, we've got so many techniques that people just tend to use the divine empowerment versions of things. And also you can sort of ad lib and make things yourself um, and create things yourself, which is pretty fun. Yeah. True. True. I'm looking for another another comment in Romania. I like Erin had made a good comment about living. Um, so about being present, and it says when not when you're not in the present moment, you're living in the past, which is traumas. So the more the less traumas you have, the more present you're going to become. So if you work through your traumas and aren't, see that's what happens. It's you're you're living in the past. 
you know, when you're when you're live when when you're um, depressed or when you're not present, you are living in the past because you're reliving these situations again and again. These horrible things that happened to you in your past. If you if you don't have any traumas or your traumas are completely just voided from your system, so you've still had horrible situations happen to you, but you're just not emotionally attached to them. Non-attachment, as the Buddhists call it. Uh, I call it fast track forgiveness, but the Buddhists call it non-attachment. If you're not attached to your traumas and traumas, you are not living in the past. You become much more present or completely present because you're just not listening to those voices and those memories which are haunting you. That brings you into the present. So dealing with your trauma makes you present. <laughs> right. Right. Let me see something. I am slightly conscious. If anyone's watching on Instagram, please move over to my YouTube. We are going to get cut off in about 10 minutes from Instagram, just to let people know. Um, and please move over to either mine or Kodrina's uh, YouTube channels because we're going to do the meditation. I don't want us to get cut off halfway through that or answering the questions. So we will lose Instagram in just under 10 minutes. So if anyone wants to move over to YouTube, then please do. And then you can continue the chat over there. Otherwise, we will drop out. So we're going to be in the middle of it. I was just going to say goodbye to the Instagram people. I just wanted to give you a minute to prep. Okay, so the chakras one, we're going to get into the chakra one in a minute. Is there anything else? The less traumas, the more present from Georgie. Yes. Shadow work is also shadow work is also from past traumas you haven't been willing to look at. DE will help release those too. We do a lot. <laughs> yes, we do a lot. Somebody, I have to to um, uh, to read you something. Uh, actually, it's in English. Mm -hmm. uh, I participated in the meditation with Ishmael. Now with Kodrina, what do we do next? <laughs> so tell them. <laughs> We are, look, Ashtar set us a mission. He wanted 50,000 people to um, uh, to awaken their chakras. Okay, let me talk about the chakra expansion stuff. So yes. we are going to be doing a chakra expansion meditation. It is the same one that I did with the Ishmael. But, um, Ashtar wanted us to get 50,000 people, and this is the second time I've done it. So we haven't <laughs> got that many people to do it yet, and we need to do it on more channels, which is why I wanted to do it today. So if the next thing is you to do level one... <laughs> That's the next thing. So we're going to do this now and expand your chakras. Basically, what's happened is our chakras are encapsulated. They have a shell around them, which is stopping them from working collectively and cohesively. So, you know, well, I mean, everyone's familiar with the chakras, but they are and they, they are separate and they don't need to be or that's not that optimal way of being them working as one as well as separate so you want to have all of the qualities and all the ways they work as they currently do and then add to that then working cohesively and collectively which expands your energy system so once your chakras start to expand and work together then you end up with this great ball of fire energy system which is looks like this but i call it great ball of fire it's like this golden light which starts to evolve your system. And when your system is evolved, that is wonderful because it means you end up powering up significantly. So the way that the while chakras have been sabotaged and the way that they work is not optimal by any stretch of the imagination. There's so many more parts of our energy system, but we are kept imprisoned. Our chakras are imprisoned and it's keeping us small. And there's a lot more to our chakras than we currently know. So what we're going to do today is expand them so that they work as one holistically. <laughs> You know, people are asking me if we uh, we if we did once the meditation for for expanding the chakra with Antonia, can we can we repeat it? And I want you to answer, please. Yes, would it, if you repeat it, you don't need to. You can. You can watch it as many times as you like. But that this, I'm a, I'm one and done. That's my whole attitude with healing, one and done. I don't, I look, I have other things in my life as well. I don't want to have to repeat the same thing. I find rep repetition irritating. I like to do something once, it's a work, and then you don't, and then you go and do the next thing because goodness knows there's enough to do. There are so many things to do. If you have to keep going over the same thing again and again and again, it's not a very good job. I really think that if you keep seeing the same person for the same issue repeatedly, they're not doing very well. It's not working. 
or not working well enough. So I want things to, you do them once and it works and then you move on to the next thing. And that's the way that I work with this healing. I want things gone and done and moving on. If you have to go to, to the same therapist for the same problem again and again and again, get a new therapist. I'm really militant about this stuff because I think it's a waste of time, a waste of money, and you aren't evolving and there's too much to do to waste time. So this it is one and done, but we're going to do it for the new people and the people who haven't done it before. And if you want some new stuff, go to the subscription or the classes. <laughs> Usually, you know, people think that uh, think that uh, if if they are repeating this meditation, the process will will be faster. Not really. So I the, uh, you, they will they changed. will be able to move their chakras more. If they do it now, it's going to be faster than, than when I did it with Ishmael. Just because I've I've developed it more deeply, it's more deeply in consciousness. Things speed up significantly. I mean, just a little example, I was teaching on Sunday, Monday, and now today is Thursday. And um, and now I've I I did the the uh, hardware software work um and it was six steps it was we had to go through one and two and three individually and then today now we don't have to do that anymore it's all as one so we just have to name the energy and use that so that's what we're doing so it always speeds up so even watching ishmael's uh video will be faster now than it was but the one i'm doing today is an upgraded uh, version and it'll probably take around three weeks for it to settle in most people this is what I was waiting for you to say. <laughs> it's always going to be faster. <laughs> yes. It will be faster. This version will be, will be a sped up version. But the most sped up version is taking level seven. If you want to do it instantly, you take level seven and then you actually get the full version of this. Because what we're doing is this is doing the great ball of fiber, but it's not really releasing the wings so that your energy system when you get to this level so you, you become this great ball of fire but also you get these pearlescent wings which are all the colors of the rainbow and that is something that you need to do level seven for because basically our, our wings are stuck to our back and they're like stuck with tar and thread around they're bound into our back and what we do in level seven is that starts to release so it starts to come away the tar and as you progress up the levels and your wings get very very big and they go through different stages and you become angelic you have this angelic energy system which starts to release and then you get much bigger energy system and only angels can slay demons so then you start to being able to slay demons and then we decided that we didn't want to do that very much we normally just portal them off to a little holiday resort where they can live out their lives in peace and harmony, which is that uh, means that we're friends with everyone in the universe now, rather than having loads of vendettas and revenge. But we can do, we can slay if we need to, but it's much easier and much more beautiful to just take them off to something like Disney World in the Bahamas and they live out their lives in peace and happiness because they are slaves, unfortunately. They're just following orders. So, you know, there's always a hierarchy of these things. <laughs> okay are we ready to do it okay shall i talk talk through it i know we're going to lose people have we lost instagram we're going to lose instagram in three minutes so if you're not already shifted over to the youtubes now is a good time to move are there any other questions that we need to answer quadrina from your from romanian <laughs> let me let me check and I will, will ask you to allow me to, to tell them in Romanian that they yes, don't need yes. any. Pentru cei care nu vorbiți românește, uh, acest video oricum va, îl voi pune cu subtitrare, iar meditația din seara asta cu Antonia nu trebuie să faceți nimic, trebuie doar să-i dați acceptul să lucreze pe ceacrele voastre, să închideți ochii și să permiteți. Asta este tot ceea ce vom face acum, în următoarele minute. Da. Ok, I should have said anything. <laughs> Okay, so what the meditation is going to do, as I've mentioned, is what it's going to do is it's going to remove the casing or the prison cells around your chakras to expand them so that they start working working more holistically. It's only going to take a few, it's going to be very, very short now. I don't think it's going to take any time at all. So we're going to do that together. 
And then that's going to take about three weeks and then your energy system will be expanded, a maximum of about three weeks, really. And your energy system will be expanded and then you will have a lot more power. That's exciting. And this is what our mission was. Lord Ashtar told us to do this so we can bring forward the solar flash and move timelines to a more positive timeline sooner, especially for those who are doing the work. Do you want to translate that, maybe? Yes. Um, <laughs> Antonia said that um, uh, a spus, Antonia a spus că este foarte important să facem acest lucru cu chakrele pentru că a fost dorința uh, Lordului Aștar să facem asta ca să deveniți multidimensionali și um, ca să aveți mult mai multe puteri și um, odată cu um, extinderea acestor chakre, noi o să putem aduce flashul solar mai repede și să schimbăm liniile temporale în ceva mai, mai bun și mai benefic pentru noi. Okay. Cool. All right. So all I need from you guys is your permission. Are you willing for it? You are you ready for your chakras to be expanded? So if you if you don't want to do this or you want to watch it uh, now and not do it and then watch on the replay when you you're more comfortable doing it, uh, that's no problem at all. You can watch it and just just choose not just internally in your heart choose not to do it right now. That's no problem at all. And then you can go back and watch it later. If you're watching this on playback, no problem at all. Just follow along as if it's live. You can say that. <laughs> Did you explain that already? Maybe. <clears throat> you want me to to say it again in in Romanian? No, did you explain all that in Russian? Everyone, yeah. as yes, everyone knows Romanian. I apologize, Romanian. Okay, everyone knows that already. Perfect. Okay, let's do it. So all you need to do is just close your eyes. It's not going to take very long at all. Probably a few seconds. Well, let's see how long it takes. It's only going to be very quick. And we'll expand your chakras, remove the casing, and then your chakras will start to expand and become as they are meant to be without the sabotage. All righty, close your eyes and let's go. Okay. It was fast. It's done. Very fast. Very fast. Well, it was always going to be faster. I haven't done it since I did it with Ishmael. Second time I've ever done that. Okay. How does that feel? Kadrina, everybody else who's watching, we've got around 100 people. Thank you. Welcome. Um, yeah. How does it feel to you, Kadrina? You already did this, so I'm not sure if you're going to notice a difference or what are you feeling? My my chair was moving. You cannot even realize how powerful you are. I wanted to tell you, but I uh, I I thought maybe it's a good idea to wait and to tell you after you finish. It was like I was like I was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just me. <laughs> I have no idea. There's no comparison. I just don't know what to compare it to. But then I try some other people's energies. I'm like, huh. I don't know. I'm full octane. <laughs> But I can tell you because I can make the difference between uh, first time when you were with Ismail and uh, this time. This time is even more powerful. Of course it is. It's just got more. It's like um, a valve. It's the cat's playing by the door. Uh, it's like there's a valve and it's opened up more so I can push push through faster. That's basically what it is. Maybe we are waiting for some comments. How how they 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 felt this? Yeah, we've got. This uh, Natalia said thank you. Kim has said thank you. Feels great. I can't pronounce that name. Felt like the heart and solar plexus chakra was moving. How what, how do you pronounce that name? Andrea. Andrea. No, the, Andrea. Oh, yeah, but what was the, the first name there? Oksana. Uh, Okolishan. 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 But this is a family name. Andrea. This okay. Family. I can say Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was just the family name that was confusing because it was first. Uh, very powerful. Thank you. Felt great. Powerful energies. Grateful for this clearing. Awakened soul. Yes. What are your um, your friends saying? I think so. My friend near me, she's like, wow. <laughs> the sofa. Wow. <laughs> Pressure of fear on my forehead. She said the pressure over her forehead. <laughs> pressure over her forehead, yeah. Yes. My... Do you want to go out? Sorry, I've got to let my cat out because she's been naughty. Go on out, Leia. <laughs> That's Princess Leia being naughty. Okay, so what does it say? Thank you, feels great. Amazing uh, energy expansion in the body. And then everything's in Romanian. <laughs> could feel a column of light in the center channel of my body expanding with white light wow very powerful head really. spinning anti-clockwise uh head chakra open energy pour pouring strong thank you so beautiful what do your people say that it was beautiful some of them are dizzy a lot of them are um are thanking you Welcome. And Welcome. that it was very powerful. Nice. And nice. they said, uh, yes, yes, this is what. Yes. <sighs> they are all sell, telling you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Close my eyes, saw bricks falling off. Carolina. Close my eyes, I saw bricks falling. I felt like the shakas were spinning like a vortex instead, perhaps clearing. I missed the meditation. As we had a power failure. Well, the good news is, Karen, you can watch it on the replay. So just fast forward around an hour and you'll get to it, won't you? Perfect. So it <laughs> seems that dizziness and, um, and the pressure over their head are also the most common symptoms trembling from the inside to the outside what a special time to be present oh welcome phil phil's one of my subscribers <laughs> cool oh yes and the eye was looking at me with love felt like an i felt like an alien energy my feet were warming up and i felt something in my head very interesting okay does anyone have any questions padrina audience anyone <laughs> somebody was was asking if um, was telling you that they are seeing their chakras in a in the form of a cross oh, and if, really? if it is correct this i've never i don't i don't i'm not very psychically visual i've got a team of people i'm there's, there are micro people and macro people. I'm macro. So I don't really, I have many, many seers who are amazing and I rely on them for very detailed sight. I just, I'm big. I'm this macro thing. So I just sweep everything and do big things all in one go. So Kodrina would be better at answering that than me. <laughs> so what do you think about this? You have better sight than me. I don't know. Um... You know, all the seers have their own uh, way to see. Yeah. Uh, Spring, which is one of your advanced healer, and I really like her, and I really uh, like the way she sees things. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He sees <laughs> things better than, uh, not better, different than me. But when we come together, we yeah. are discovering common parts. And that's why, uh, in this way, we are able to uh, to help you in the mission. Yeah. So everyone has his own way of seeing, and you cannot. Uh, th there is not a rule, a rule for for these things. I think it might be Christ consciousness or something which is awakening in you that would sort of make sense if you're thinking about the cross. Um, that would make sense because we're we're coming into Christ consciousness and awaking our Christ consciousness within. So the more the less of this stuff that we've got inside of us, the less of the traumas, the less of the the, the nefarious technology. It's not just traumas. It's um, there. We have had 
things to suppress us. Many, many things have been put inside our energy systems to suppress us, to stop us from being the gods and goddesses we truly are. I come from the mindset, and I'm 100% on this, <coughs> that we are gods and goddesses with amnesia. That we've forgotten that we're gods and goddesses. And I've spent the last 20 years awakening my abilities and remembering some of my abilities. So I think that, you know, and that sort of Christ consciousness to have these these um, cities or spiritual superpowers. So I'm not surprised you're seeing that sort of symbolism if that works, works for you. <coughs> Christ consciousness within us and we are all, we all have the ability to do what he was doing. We can do, it's locked away within us, but it's possible. That's what I think. Yes, true. And there is something else I want to ask you to talk about. <coughs> Sure. was very important and it was a very special subject. I want you and I am asking you to speak a bit about source code. Okay. <coughs> yes, source code. I'm, I'm always trying to get to the, the deepest bit of stuff. So um, how do we delete diseases and what is the disease? So I'm always sort of unraveling and unraveling and unraveling and unraveling and unraveling <coughs> and the source code is the coding it's like the zeros and ones it's like the matrix it's like the zeros and ones of disease so if you can delete the source code then the whole the structure of the disease dissipates from a software perspective so it's the if you if you think about a computer program, everything sort of goes back into computers. It's 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 making me think more and more because the analogies all work in computer terms. It makes me think we are living in a simulation. I really am getting stronger and stronger into that belief because of the work that I'm doing is playing around with the source code, the original programming, and then that's affecting people, which then makes you think we're probably living in a simulation because otherwise, how would I be able to recode it? So I can recode it. So it's it's coding. So it's a coding of the disease. It's the original coding. So when you write a computer program, you're using source code to write the program. And so if you can go and change the source code and delete that and move that around, then anything else, the programming that goes further um, beyond that um, dissipates. So you can use source code to then work on the software of diseases. But if you use it with this new stuff and using the hardware and the software, I'm hopeful it's working on many, many different diseases. So it's all, of, it's a very exciting time and everything needs field testing with my new work, but it does look like it's a huge breakthrough. The source code's amazing. And then if you've got the new stuff with the hardware and the software, the, the last piece of the software I think is a source code because that's the original coding, but the server rooms are this new stuff in the hardware and which is the NevTech and nefarious magic causing the hardness where, where the disease is just going back to, it's going, it's resetting to factory settings. So you clear it sometimes and then a few days later or a few, you know, a few months later, it just goes and reverts back. And that's because it's, it's going back to factory settings. So if you can do the software and the hardware together, I'm hopeful that that's what we're looking for. I'm not going to answer you. What is exactly? Because people, people for sure, we're, we're going to answer. We're going to want to know um, what is NevTech and what is... Nefarious technology. Nefarious just means bad, evil technology and nefarious magic. Evil magic, evil technology. Nefarious. Because we, yeah, it's I'm I'm rebranding it slightly because I don't want to be using big scary words. It gives it gives the the uh, the bad guys power. So I have to come up with new terms um, which are not loaded with fear. Because if long, as, long, as soon as you fear something, then it gives it power. So we don't want to be doing that sort of stuff. And also, it's just too seeped in religion. And I'm not, you know, I'm keen on I'm keen on the principles of religion, but not the actual religions necessarily themselves. I think it's very important people know how um, uh, people to know how the way we the way how we work. It's very important mm -hmm. because okay, we have powers, but um, what does it mean? What does that mean? We are um, calling Archangel My Michael to do our job, no, we or do we are doing the job 
uh, hours. We're doing there. the work ourselves. Because we're gods and goddesses with amnesia, I remove the blockages preventing you from having superpowers. So I don't really teach you superpowers. I, I remove, you have superpowers. Everybody watching this has superpowers. They're just locked up tight. What I do is remove the bits of energetic, nefarious technology, NevTech, which are in the way preventing your, your superpowers from being apparent. And there's loads of them, like we've just done the stuff with the chakras. There's so much in our systems which are preventing us from having these abilities. They have been suppressed. And I think some of it's to do with the procession of the equinox and where we are, um, the, where our planet is. I think that our sun is rotating around a black sun and there's this whole um, ellipsis um, that we're going around and this is 26,000 year cycle. I think that's part of that. And now it's actually that where we are specifically in space, which meant that we, we haven't got abilities, but I also think that the bad guys have suppressed our abilities because we are powerful beyond belief. Right. <laughs> right. And we know this and we felt this and we all, all your um, healers knows, knows this. Yeah. Because all your initiation are so special and it is amazing to do the job on yourself and to have um, a lot of results and then try things uh, on the other on the other people. It is it's really just fun. Amazing. It's so fun. If you've got somebody who's been sick or has got traumas or whatever's wrong with them and you manage to get rid of that problem that they've got it's just really super fun it's really joyful it's really it's so nourishing to your soul it's really exciting and it's just you know if you can actually heal people it's just the most wonderful thing it's just it's really life affirming you you know it's just it's so good for it's it's so nourishing and good for the person who's doing the work as well as the person who's receiving the work it's just the most interesting fun thing and you know i'm i always wanted to be a mad scientist when i was growing up and i feel like i've achieved that <laughs> um and you know i'm I, I i research a lot of different religions and medicines and various different things to try and bring the best and the newest techniques to be able to work through different diseases and traumas and and i've come up with you know i i really don't think that diseases and traumas are what anyone thinks they are i think it's just suppressed emotions and stagnant emotions and if you can delete those and anything else which is hardwired then hopefully the diseases will go by themselves Yahoo! Somebody, Georgie. <laughs> somebody's asking um is there's a problem because is there a problem because uh, she didn't feel anything during the the meditation no you feel things in different ways it's okay no problem it's i said it's going to take up to three weeks so it, you might be more of a slow burner it'll work it just might take up to three weeks some people are very ripe and ready to pop and so some people will just, and they'll happen just doing the meditation, during the meditation. Other people, there's maybe some more gunk in your system, or it's just not ready to go for some reason. So it may take up to three weeks. So no problem. You're just going to, you'll have the same effects. It just might take a little longer. No problem at all. Somebody's telling us that um, she, she felt a huge release. <laughs> Great. Just a moment. Anything else? I got some. Somebody's telling that um, she's feeling now so calm and peaceful. So I've just got Sophia uh, said a, a minute ago. Good evening. I received a message during my sleep that I was now functioning with 12 chakras. What do you think? Possible. There are hundreds of them. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't think that chakras, I think that chakras seem to be very, very important. They're very on vogue. They're very fashionable, but I think they're one small piece of our, our million piece energy system. And I think that people, I just think that they are very well known. And I think there's a lot, lot more to our energy systems than that. You kind of want them working holistically as one. So it's entirely possible that your 12 chakras are activated, but let's get to the next stage. Come on, yeah. chop, chop. <laughs> we'll see what will happen. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Any other comments or questions before we close? We'll be closing quite soon. If anyone has anything they want to ask, please go ahead and do so. Yeah. 
You see, people are writing that there are also um, now here with us people who were with Ismael and now they mm. are with us and Great. they are writing that uh, now it was more powerful. Yay! And it's International Women's Day. And look at us together on International Women's Day. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I think it's book day. Is it Women's Day? Was that not? Yes. Oh, for tomorrow. tomorrow for Women's tomorrow, Day tomorrow. tomorrow. Today is book day. And I have a book. <laughs> My book is here. I have a book. Energy Secrets, How wow, to Live Your Your book. Yes. Yeah. Where, uh, where we can find your book? How can we... Um, how can we... Um... Get the book. The Love book the is book. on Amazon. If you're in the UK, if you are not in the UK, it's coming out in America in September, physical, but you can also get it on kin uh, no, Kindle. You can get it on Kindle and you can get it on Audible. So you can get it, yeah. So you can get it on a, um, a digital copy if you want, um, also through Amazon, or you can buy an Audible and have me recite the book to you. So I did the audio recording for the book. So if you want to, I prefer audiobooks, honestly. I listen to a lot of books and I really am into audiobooks because you can do your makeup and you can wander around the house, cleaning, cooking, doing that sort of stuff and listen to a book. I'm always listening to books and podcasts the whole time. So I much prefer that than actually reading a physical book. It just goes into my brain more easily. So yeah, by all means, um, it's me reciting it and it's available on Audible from Amazon. Yeah. And it's really more comfortable, I think, because you can do a lot of things and you hear. And uh, I think it's more comfortable than reading and not doing anything else. Yeah. And I just prefer it. And the thing is, I'm, I'm, I spend a lot of my time multidimensional, so I find it quite difficult to read because I'm just off with the fairies or the angels or <laughs> the ETs and a different dimension learning magic. So it's quite difficult for me to read sometimes, like uh, for, for a long period of time. And I think it's nice when the author reads the book as well. It makes it really fun to listen to. Yes, it, you can connect with the, with the author easily and it's something else. It's yeah. more magic. I think it is okay. Any final words from you, Quadrina, or from me, or anyone? Happy birthday for tomorrow. Whose birthday is it tomorrow? This is um, Women's Day. Women's Day. Okay, the birthday of Women's Day. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, when are they all said they are all uh, saying Happy Women's Day? I don't know how it is in, in England, but here everybody used to say this happy women's day nice. i like women supporting women most of our um, practitioners and students are, are women we have there's very few men who are into this yet so come on men join up we've got a couple like two or three in our top level so it's very nice to have more men because it's it's time for the men to start doing the spiritual work i think as well right right Okay, I think that's everything. Is that everything you wanted to ask me, Quadrina? Or did you have any other questions? I think I am. I'm. Re I'm still reading the question. They are telling me in Romanian that they still feel waves of energy uh, from their hearts to their feet. Yeah, and um, in their hands. So it was very intense. So let us know in the comments when this is posted. I, um, like in the, I know you've got the comments of the live comments, but in, in the next few days or weeks, let us know how this feels for you. And if you've noticed anything else, it should power you up. So if anyone's asking what it's doing, it should be powering you up. So you should feel like you have more energy. And if you're doing any, any other energy work from whatever modality that you do, it should feel a lot stronger. So that should be really nice. Beautiful. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. And thank you, Quadrina, for interviewing me and having a little chat and finding out all these different things and just for being wonderful. Um, it's been lovely working with everybody. And I hope I see people this weekend on, on my subscribers or joining my level one. If you want level one, the code again is magic. For, um, for to get level one for 75 pounds rather than 333 pounds all the subscribers you're going to get access to me a couple of times a month which is pretty cool and access to my my um 
uh, my wonderful practitioners who have their own magic as well as the DE stuff. So I really look forward to finding out how this has worked for you. And if you have any questions, do let me know. I think we'll be going live with Quadrina again in a little while. So thank you. And thank you, Quadrina. <laughs> Thank you for being here with us in Ashta Lessons. Um, we are very grateful and happy you are here with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And goodbye, everybody. See you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.